Thanks for tuning in to our first episode of You Rock. For the first episode, we've chosen Queen Elizabeth Park. You may know it as Queen Elizabeth, uh, but actually it's called Little Mountain. And uh, what you see here is evidence of volcanic activity that happened 31 to 34 million years ago. And you might think this is a crater now that you know this was all volcanic area, but actually this is dug out because it was a quarry. Um, and the rocks were taken out and used to build much of Gastown and downtown. Queen Elizabeth Park is located on unceded Musqueam territory. This park used to be an old growth forest with an active salmon spawning ground. However, it was <laughs> torn down and paved over to become a basalt rock quarry, which you see behind me. And then in 1939, the Vancouver Parks Board decided that since it wasn't being used anymore, they could beautify the area and create these beautiful sunken gardens in the old quarry. While this area is more commonly used now for wedding photo shoots and things like that, it was originally made by the Canadian Pacific Railway as a basaltic rock quarry to mine rocks to build structures in Vancouver. Did you know that Queen Elizabeth Park has one of the biggest water reservoirs in Canada? Not this, it's a duck pond. Okay, so this is actually one of the largest water reservoirs in Canada and it can hold up to 175 million liters of water and it's used by over 2 million people in the city and it contains enough water for emergencies such as earthquakes and it's also used for firefighting purposes. Alright, so here we have an excellent example of the basaltic intrusion that creates Little Mountain. Uh, so basalt is a mafic extrusive igneous rock. It's very rich in magnesium and iron and low in silica. Uh, that gives it this very dark color that we can see here. Basalt is formed as magma from below the Earth's surface, comes to the surface as lava and cools fairly quickly. Uh, because it cools quickly, it gives it this very fine grain. So here we have some sandstone uh, boulders, but this is what uh, the surrounding area around Queen Elizabeth Park is made out of. Uh, now sandstone is uh, quite a soft rock, so it gets weathered down very easily. Uh, so that's why we end up having uh, Queen Elizabeth Park as this big mound, because Queen Elizabeth Park is made out of basalt and basalt is quite a hard rock, so it doesn't weather as easily. So glaciers coming into the area weather the sandstone. 